Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing very well. Today I'm going to work in my favorite journal again, which is my memory keeping journal. I handmade it and then I sprayed a whole bunch of inks on the background and it's so bright and fun. So obviously it's my favorite because it's so fun and bright, um, but also because it has so many random fun memories in it. So uh, yeah, so that's what I, I'm trying to finish this off before the month is over so I can do a flip through. Um, but yeah, love this. And also these journals will be available this weekend in my shop. So I'll link the, um, the link down below and then yeah. So the, for the first page, I thought the green dress that my little niece is wearing matched so well with the yellow in the background. And there's a little bit of green there as well. Um, so I thought that would look so nice together. So I just did a couple of pictures with some washi tape and some stickers. And that's pretty much it for the first page. And then for the second page, I love this background so much. I didn't want to cover it, but I didn't want to leave it blank. So I just printed a little sticker really quick. And... I love it, but I made a mistake. It's all crooked, so I just peel it off quickly and then put it back. Um, but yeah, so I love how this one looks and I can see the background still. So, And then for the next page, I chose these couple pictures of my little nieces in the pool. And they look so cute with the bright background and their little bathing suits. So I thought I would do a tip-in so that I can have the photos back to back. And I'm just using clear acetate for the tip-in and then gluing it on there with some tape. And then I'm going to add a little bit of kind of like just scrap pieces of paper that I sprayed um, making other journals. Those are just the leftover end pieces. So can't go, it can't go to waste. So I try to save everything that I know I'm going to use later. And so, yeah, I just kind of glue it in and then rip it to, to, the, to my liking. And then for the back, I'm just going to use my little marker trick. I'm going to color it with some, color some markers on some clear plastic and then spray it with a little bit of water. And then I'm going to dab it on the paper on the back just to give it a little bit more color. And you can do this in journals. I do it all the time. So if you guys don't have inks or anything like that, you can totally use your markers as well. It looks really neat and you can get some really cool patterns too. Um, but yeah, so there's the tip in. I really like how that looks with the blue and then the bright pink background. It looks so pretty. And then again, just using my favorite clear tape. I have a few staples that I must use for every journal. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah. So then I just thought I would use a couple stickers to kind of find which which letters or quote would work the best. And I just printed these on washi paper and then they're transparent, which I love. And I thought I would just put love summertime on there. And then I messed up with the love again, just peel it off real quick. <laughs> um, and then just adding a couple of stickers. These are all just smaller tester stickers, so I thought they'd be cute in here as well. And you can never have enough color. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super loving. Just a little bit of journaling on this page. And then I love how this is look looking so far. This journal is one of my favorite journals for sure. And then for the last page, just picking a couple photos that are 4 by 6 which I have to trim down just a little bit. And I'm going to make a large tip in for this page. Um, but yeah, super fun. And there I almost ripped the paper, like, or the picture, like, oops, I ripped off too much of the backing. Um, but yeah, so I just glued it onto the other picture to make my tip in and so yeah it's a pretty large tip in for that for that journal but it works well and my nieces are so cute in that picture um but yeah so once I have that taped in then I'm going to stamp a little bit of a quote there and then I'm just going to use my white gel pen to highlight it a little bit and then kind of add a little bit of stickers and more color because you can never have enough color <laughs> uh, with some feather stickers and then yeah just a little bit of journaling but this is pretty much it for this video i hope you guys got a little bit of inspiration or some ideas for your journals and don't forget to check out my etsy shop there will be some of these journals available if you are interested um, but yeah i'll have another journal with me video for you guys next week um, but until then have a great weekend and i'll see you guys all later bye